You are here watching this video because you are probably experiencing a third party situation, meaning your twin flame is in a committed relationship with another partner. And now you wonder why is that the case? You might already heal a lot and healed a lot and you continue to, but nothing is changing. So this is the DM perspective, even though yes, I'm feminine, but since my twin flame and I are one and you with yours as well, I can share the DM perspective so that you have better insights and why he is still with the other partner. So keep on watching till the end. It's very valuable for you to know so that you understand the situation better and get faster through it and transcend it. So welcome, my name is Carmen. I've been through the situation many times in my life many times and I'm very glad that I finally healed it. I feel very peaceful at the core and I'm eager to share my healing with you. So let's get started with point number one. You don't focus on yourself. Means you are with your attention always outside of yourself. You're always thinking and worrying, oh no, what they are doing now and oh they are going on vacations and oh, i've seen he's engaged now with her oh my god he's going to become a father and oh my god all these thoughts and maybe you've seen them outside in the park somewhere holding hands and kissing and being so in love and all the pictures on instagram show that they are in love and <sighs> time to breathe <laughs> now you see it's important to focus on yourself why is that? So your twin flame and you, you share one consciousness and he basically feels when you are with your attention, your, your wonderful and pure attention, always on him, he feels pushed away because your twin flame is your perfect divine mirror. And this means when you feel you already saw maybe in my energy and showing it to you that I was very needy and oh my god what is he doing and when is he texting me back it's very needy right so I want something from him all the time and this means it it comes from a lack within myself where I feel like I can't give myself that attention and love maybe it's not good enough and not enough and whatever so your twin flame feels that need, this neediness and he will be pushed away by it. So no worries, we are here to help you and I'll give you also a relief to what you can do instead of focusing on him. And yes, you can maybe imagine it's focusing on yourself. And how do you focus on yourself? <laughs> It's pretty simple by being inner within in your heart center basically and um, you might have already heard that the twin flame journey is 90 yes nine zero percent inner and only ten percent outer and this means that everything that you desire in your twin flame and everything that you want him to do you have to give yourself first on the inner and he will reflect that back to you. Since he is your perfect divine mirror, everything that is out of alignment within yourself with love, he has to mirror to you. He can't do anything about it and it's very loving that he's doing it and you will find for yourself why this is very loving. Especially when you already heard about the mirror exercise and you're practicing it, it's awesome, keep on doing it and I'll promise you, you will get there. And I've made it and I thought I would never arrive there. And I was experiencing it my whole life, basically growing up. Every boyfriend I had, he was then suddenly with my best friend and leaving me besides and, you know, all this drama stories. And now I'm finally over this and very grateful to share this with you. And you can do it as well. Now, if you haven't heard about the mirror exercise, check out our channel for the video on how to do the mirror exercise and also check out the book Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover from Jeff and Shalia available on Amazon. There you will find the mirror exercise in depth and everything you need to know about Twin Flames. We say it's the Bible for Twin Flames. It's really amazing to always reread also for myself and 
you'll find on our website, links are down in the description box, a free introductory e-course on twin flames and ascension and what does it all mean and oh my god there is so much to explore and in this eight lesson course which is for free did i already say it <laughs> you will find a lot of information on twin flames really really deep course and wonderful to explore check this one out you really don't want to miss this one Reason number two why he might be still with his other partner is he doesn't want to lose safety. So we are all humans and it has a purpose why we are doing what we are doing. Because we have needs and desires and we are always looking for them to be fulfilled, right? That's totally human and normal. And so your man does the same. Now you have to understand his side of the story, why he is with another partner. First of all, we understood, yes, you share one consciousness, you are already one and he has to mirror everything to you that is out of alignment with love. And now he also has a reason why he is with that other partner, which can be, for example, safety or comfort. It's something that he knows and you know, it's safe and all is okay. You can stay in that relationship. Nothing would really happen, you know. It's something, you know, pretty normal. And let's be honest, soulmates relationships are usually at some point very boring because soulmates, soulmate relationships start very high off and amazing. Everything is wah. And then in the end it gets more boring and boring because this person is not meant to grow with you and to go deeper with you. Maybe he also believes that the love between you and him is too good to be true and that it's not worth it yet to lose his other relationship, his safety zone, so to say. So you can heal these fears within yourself. Maybe a fear of losing what is meant for you, the fear of not being good enough, the fear of being left alone, of being betrayed or whatever it is. Another point is that your twin flame and you, you are already one. And this means that you also share the same core values and desires, basically. And of course, your twin flame loves you always. At the core, he perfectly loves you. And he's loving you with this situation right now because he also desires to be with you and not with someone else and in divine truth he cannot be with someone else other than you and in his heart he's already experiencing the situation and this relationship as if he is already with you because in his heart he is and he must receive something as i already said from the situation but deep down they are lurking these fears of i'm not good enough or is this really as good as it feels like? Is love really real and can this be? And all of these fears, these are within your consciousness as well and you can heal them for your union, for yourself. So you can be the knight to save yourself on the horse beautifully with romancing yourself and you will attract your twin flame with it like a magnet. He can't hold back. And he can't resist when you can't resist your own love anymore. So release the resistance and just heal through it because this leads me to the next point. Why he is still with another partner is that you are probably numbing out to your feelings. Now this doesn't mean to blame yourself. I took it as a excuse to blame myself now. Ah, another thing I'm not doing good enough, you know? Now I've created another experience in my life where my man is with someone else and I'm suffering here and then I'm numbing out. Someone tells me I'm numbing out somewhere. It's fine. You will get there. It's a choice you can make each and every time to just be persistent, believe in yourself, be compassionate with yourself and also your man. It's not easy for him as well and to choose to feel all of your feelings to this situation and trust that choice and everything will come up perfectly for you to heal through, to move through. 
And for me, it happened differently than I expected. At some point, I really released control over how it should happen, how things should look like. I was, you know, always sitting down each and every day and uh, thinking of the situation and thought, okay, God, or okay, my heart, let, tell me what do I have to, uh, to feel here? I choose to feel all of my feelings. And of course, in the beginning, there was a lot of anger and anger is by the way also numbing out but it's fine you, you just accept the anger maybe feel also embodying the anger completely allow it to yourself and when you allow yourself to really move through it and accept that you are angry then you can feel the real feelings underneath because usually anger numbs out to sadness so find out for yourself and really be compassionate because the more you feel resistant, the deeper is usually the hurt. So really be compassionate with yourself. And remember, you're talking to a little child, your inner child. And when you imagine and envision this little child of you, then you can't be angry. You just have to have compassion and really patience and give yourself the safety that you need to move through all of these feelings. It can be very challenging, yes, but it's absolutely doable. So yeah, as I released also the control over the situation, when I thought I have to sit down now and I wanted to transcend the situation as soon as possible, because as you might already know, it's very painful. It can be very painful and challenging. I released control at some point and I said, okay, it's not in my hands. Whatever I have to heal, I choose to heal. I choose to feel all my feelings and I trusted that choice. And I had to make that choice over and over again and just trust it that this is just an illusion and it's just something for me to heal and that it's in my hands and in my power to heal. So claim that power, claim that hope for yourself and know that it's doable. So many people did it and I as well. And I really <laughs> experienced it since childhood so many times and it's really doable. You have to push through and be persistent and you can do it. You know, and then things came up like I was still studying acting and in my class there were things happening where I felt so unworthy of everything and so, yeah, not good enough. And I thought, hey, and somehow I felt the connection to this third party situation, even though I wasn't focused on that anymore. And I refused to give that situation power to really claim my focus for myself and as I said in point number one <laughs> and be there for myself and feel all of my feelings whatever is coming up in my reality and you know what in an instant the situation was gone and it felt so peaceful and like as if it was never there no regrets no anger nothing like ah oh, he was with another but it, it doesn't matter you know he he was already within you and he is already within you in your heart right now and you just have to see that and heal all the layers that believe that he is not one with you so if you need support with that definitely claim it i recommend working with a coach checking out tifas the free introductory e-course and there are so many resources so please like and subscribe if that video helped you and to not miss any other juicy topics and videos on our channel and hope to see you in the next video.